YouTube, what's going on? Your boy, professional Madden player T. Davis is back, and we're breaking down the best plays in all of Madden 22. We're talking about pretty much the best route in the game or routes. Uh, so we're going to be talking about the double wheel route. Before we get into that, make sure you guys are subscribed here to the channel on YouTube, breaking down the best you know, pro Madden player tips. We go over, over a lot of offense and defense, and we have free ebooks all over the channel. Right now, I'm in, I'm in the middle of recording my 32 team free ebook. So, we're breaking down you know, the best money plays, an ebook for pretty much every offensive playbook in Madden 22 for each team. So, check that out on the channel. I have a playlist as well that breaks down these best ebooks. Also, have some of the best tips that the pros are running. Of course, you know, I commentated the million dollar EA Sports Madden tournament. I was a color commentator for that. So, I know what I'm talking about just a little bit when it comes to Madden 22. Also, make sure you guys smash the like button on this video. It really helps me out in the algorithm so that I can provide more tips for you guys and also comment down below. We can have a little bit of discussion. Let me know what you want to see on the channel, whether it be offense or defense, um, playbooks, anything of that nature. Comment down below and let me know what you think of this video here. We're breaking down, like I said, the best plays uh, that all the pros are using here in Madden 22. Now, we are in the Las Vegas Raiders offensive playbook. And what we're talking about is the double wheel route. Now, the, this route, or the wheel route has been literally unstoppable all year long in Madden 22. Um, just so, so effective because it's going to get underneath zones, going to get in between zones. It's going to beat man coverage. Just literally so impossible to guard. And we're going to break it down here out of three different formations. So you guys have a little bit of a mix. Now, you can find most of these plays in pretty much all the playbooks in the game. I like the Raiders because it does have... The three different formations we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about Gun Bunch. And we're also going to talk about Gun, Tight Slots, Halfback Week. And this formation has become very popular. We've got a little bit later into the Madden season, especially when you have those route cams that you can throw out there as well. Um, but we'll start in the Bunch formation, and we're talking about the double wheel route, as I mentioned. So the first play, the easiest play that you see all the pros running, they're coming out, they're quick snapping it. It is verticals. Now, the reason is that, and you know, the play already has two wheel routes out there. We're actually going to give this play a third wheel route to the running back. So this play is just absolutely stacked with wheel routes, but that's what you need in Madden 22 to be successful. These routes, like I said, you can beat man and zone so hard to defend. They're going to start to use them. They're going to have to make a lot of adjustments. And the thing with verticals is you can literally just come out, quick snap it, and hike it, right? You do one adjustment, quick snap it. That's what all the pros are doing. Uh, before the defense is even set, before they can set their adjustments, you just come out, quick snap it, boom, um, and you're good to go. So we'll come out in verticals. Let's run it versus basic cover three here. So you see here, what? and I'm just going to quick snap real quick. People just come out, they put their running back on a wheel route. Boom, just like this. They hike it as fast as possible, and you want to always low pass these wheel routes. So now let's really kind of break it down here, right? So you come out, of course, and I like to have the bunch on the short side when we run this verticals. You want that crosser. From RB, because you know we're looking to the two wheel routes, but also that crosser to RB is absolute money as well. And we like it going to the um, wide side of the field. Now, also this tight end wheel route, I think, is unstoppable to the short side. Now, it just because the you know any flat defenders they're going to go out too wide on the short side of the field, so they're going to go out to B too much, and A is just always open in the middle of the field with a low pass in that little pocket in that little area between the zones, and then the running back to the wide side on a wheel. Just like this, you see that we put Y, the running back. If you're on PlayStation, it'd be triangle. You put him on a wheel route, going to the wide side, and he just gets great spacing, gets in the little area. As soon as he cuts up, you can low pass that. So like I said, I always recommend to low pass or low ball with the left trigger. If you're on PlayStation, obviously it'd be L2 on Xbox, the left trigger. So when you pass it, I like, I, I like to bullet pass it, but also hold that left trigger so they throw a low pass. And then you always want to click on it and possession catch it. So I do prefer to possession catch these low ball wheel routes every single time. So let's run it a few times here. Of course, our main reads are going to be A and Y on these low ball wheels. And if those two are for some reason covered, which they I would say 80% of the time are not going to be covered because they're going to have to use one of them and then take away the other with adjustments. But if they are covered, you do have RB. Um, going across the field on one of the best crossing routes in the game. Now, B and X, we're not really going to throw them too often. They're just kind of pull routes, getting the defense out deep. You know, X is out there to kind of bring back the zones for R, B, or Y. And B just goes wide so we can throw the tight, the tight end on the inside pass lead. So let's go ahead and run it here. You see, as soon as A cuts in, just like that, I like to pass lead a little bit inside, low pass every time, like I said, and possession catch. Now, if we take a look at the replay, you're going to see he just gets in that little area, right? So we hike it. He cuts in. Now watch this flat defender. He's in a he's in a curl flat. You know he has to go out wide to watch B, 
right? He's pretty much out there wide. This tight end cuts on the inside of him. Then you have these hook zones over the middle where they have to worry about RB, so they're not going to get out there for these um, for this tight end wheel. And you're just in that little area. You're just in that little area, if I can, you know, swirl this thing around a little bit. Uh, terrible with this. But you see always in this little area here that we can swirl around, and there's no one going to guard it. No computer zones in the game can really guard this route right in there in the, in the middle of the field. So we'll do it one more time here uh, to that route. Hike it. Go ahead. As soon as he cuts in, boom, low pass possession, secure catch every single time. Literally impossible for the computer zones to guard, right? One last time here, just like this. Cuts in, boom, po low pass possession catch every single You see we're literally getting the same animation every time. Just so difficult to defend. Now is when we open it up. And we head over to our running back as soon as he cuts up the field. It's literally the same exact thing to the, as the tight end. It's just to the wide side for the running back now. So we go ahead and hike it as soon as he cuts up. I like to low pass, possession catch, easy six yards every single time. Now, this one you don't always have to you know low pass. It depends on what the defense is doing. If there's no one out there, obviously you just can throw it. You can rack catch it, you know, get a big play up the field. But I do, if it's a little bit tight coverage like here, you see the linebacker, I'll just possession catch that um, every single time. So... We're hitting one or the other. It's really, really simple. That's why this verticals play is just so popular. Guys come out, they put the running back on the wheel, they quick hike it, they look for one of the wheels, and they throw it in there for an easy completion. Now, of course, like I said, if uh, if for some reason both are covered, which is going to be very rare, you do have the ability to wait, kind of hit RB deep down the sidelines. You know, this is one of the best crossers in the game um, as well. So you have the the threat of the deep option as well. I love this. I prefer this a little bit on next gen, but of course this will work on you know the old Xbox One and PlayStation Four as well. So one last time with this, you see it's just super easy. I mean, the zones cannot literally guard it. So that's verticals out a bunch. Let's jump into the next way we want to run these double wheel routes. All right, guys, so we're going to stay in, stay in the gun bunch, but we're going to go to mesh spot here, right? And I do like to prefer this to run this to the wide side now, so we're going we're gonna to kind of switch it up on him, right? So now with this one here, you see the running backs, he's on that short wheel, which is one of the best. I really love this play in the red zone, by the way. If you guys out there looking for some red zone offense, one of my favorite ways is in the red zone. So for this, we want to put our solo receiver, so the B side right there. If you're in PlayStation, obviously it'd be circle. Put him on a little out route. Right? We're just going to get him out of the way for our running back wheel because we're going to have that wheel kind of flat combo out there. Now on the bunch side here, I like to streak RB, the slot receiver, just to get him out of the way. You know, he's kind of clearing out the zones for our tight end. And then X is going to be on a flat route, just like that. And that's going to be to pull out the flat zones for our tight end wheel again. So it's literally kind of the same thing we just talked about in verticals. It's just a little bit sharper wheel route from the running back, and it's pretty much the same thing from the tight end wheel. A little bit wider for the tight end. So... Pretty much the same concept as verticals, but the wheel routes are a little bit different, and I do prefer to have the bunch on the wide side this time for more for a better spacing. So let's go ahead and run here a few times. See how that sharp cutting wheel route for the running back? He gets in that little area of the zone coverage, um, just like this. And like I said, we can run these versus man as well. I'll go to that in a second. But see, he cuts up a little bit sharper on this one than than the than the hot road wheel, and we like that to the short side of the field. He gets in that little area. You see how he gets in between the flat defender, and he's out wide for the hook zone. So, he, you know, like I said, no computer zones can really guard these. Once again, of course, we like to low pass and possession catch it. Here we go. Let's set it up again. Just looks just like this. And we're going to go to the running back once again. As soon as he cuts up, boom, possession catch every time. You always want a quarterback with gunslinger or pass lead elite to give you that extra velocity as well. That's critical. That's super important. I should have mentioned that early uh, in this video. But you do want that gunslinger or pass lead elite ability on your quarterback for that extra velocity to get these passes in there. Here we go again. I mean, it's just easy. You see no zones can get out there. So now we'll take a look at the bunch side, right? Go over here. Same setup, it just looks just like this. We have a flat route and a streak route over there. And once again, this time we're going to the tight end. As soon as he cuts in, boom, possession catch in that little area of the zones where no zones will guard it. Basically manipulating the zone coverage uh, with these setups. Once again, just looks just like this. And you see as soon as he cuts up, boom, possession catch, or low ball, inside pass lead, possession catch. I'll do it one last time here to the tight end, but you guys, you guys can see. Super simple, and just keep practicing over and over and over again until you get it down where it's like muscle memory. Once again, super easy right there. So we broke it out down out of mesh spot and verticals out of bunch. Let's jump into a new formation and try this again. All right, guys, so the tight slots halfback week uh, formations become very popular among the pro community uh, the last few months. Really, really good, especially when you got those route cams you can throw in or maybe your quarterback has that hot route master ability because that's some good plays like flood. Of course, we have the inside zone bench mesh spot. 
absolute money. But the cool thing about this is the four verticals play, and you see the double wheel routes from those inside slot receiver positions. So let's come out on the play here. And, you know, the play's already good, kind of how it is if you wanted to run it that way. Already good stock. But, of course, to run it the way we want, we're going to put both outside receivers on flat routes. So we're going to put X on a flat, just like that, and we're going to put B on a flat. Now, the only other adjustment I like to make is put my streak or put my running back on a streak route. So he kind of clears out the defense through the middle of the field, allowing these, run, uh, these wheel routes on the sidelines to kind of get in between the flats and in between the streak, allowing for an easy, once again, low pass and possession catch every single time. So you can go to either side. It really doesn't matter. You want to wait to that in that little area right there, just like that. You see that uh, pretty much unguardable. And like I said, love this type of concept in the red zone. Makes it extremely, extremely difficult to defend. You see here once again. You know we, the flat route brings out the flat defenders, and this is to the short side of the field too. Still gets in between them and gets underneath the safety. Obviously, he's out wide of the hook zone, so just in between all the zones, possession catch and uh, low pass, and always possession catch that secure catch every time. Going to get this diving catch animation pretty much impossible to defend. Now we go over here and if we looked on the left side, obviously we didn't throw to this side, but it's the same type of thing. Right in that little area, we would low pass it right there. And you see what this, the running back does a great job to bring that hook zone back. And then the flat defender brings out the flat zone. What do we have? The wheel route right there. We could low pass it right in front of the safety. So we'll go to that side here this time. Once again, same thing set up just like this. Double flat routes, halfback streak. Hike the ball. Let's look for Keenan Allen here. As soon as he cuts up, low pass, secure catch all day long. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's what I like to call it here. Just absolute money. We'll go ahead and do it again here. Cuts up, boom. Low ball, inside pass lead, secure catch. Easy money. One last time here. You guys get the point, though. And you can do this any play you find that you have really double wheel routes. You can do this concept out of it. It just works like bread and butter, like absolute money. Easy, easy, easy offense that all the pros run. Hope you guys add this to your game. If you don't already know about it, super, super good. Um, it's going to be, you know, obviously you guys are going to be, you know, scoring on like it's easy now, especially versus zone coverage. Like I said, it does work versus man. I prefer it versus zone, but you can obviously throw it versus man. As soon as they cut inside, you can throw it versus man as well. Definitely try to aggressive catch it versus man. But versus zone, always go with the possession catch. Easiest offense in the game. Hope you guys did enjoy this. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more pro tips just like this. Hit the like button, comment down below. Appreciate you guys, man, so much. Until next time, your boy T. Davis is out.